everyone, it's Laura from the blog ourearlyhouse.com and today I'm going to share with you five essential roller bottle recipes that you can gift to your mom for Mother's Day. I love using my essential oils to make up gifts for anybody on my list and with Mother's Day right around the corner I thought it would be fun to share with you five essential oil roller bottles that you could put together and give as a little set to your mom or aunt or grandma for Mother's Day. Now when I started thinking about essential oils that I wanted to put into this little collection, I started thinking about floral oils and citrus oils because they're very uplifting and energizing and most moms can use that extra little boost of energy. And I also came up with a blend that is my favorite blend for perfume, and so we're gonna make one that's for perfume, a cheerful blend, and then also a calming and relaxing blend. And so these are gonna be roller bottles that can be used by anyone, and they're gonna be especially great for a mother on your list. And the great thing about roller bottles is that they're already pre-diluted, ready to go, and so they're very, very simple to use. So if you're giving this to someone that is brand new to essential oils and has never used them, they still will be able to use this gift. So it's a very practical gift that I think everybody will love. All you're gonna need for this are some essential oils, a carrier oil, which I'm using fractionated coconut oil because that's my favorite carrier oil. It's a really light carrier oil. and doesn't have a scent to it. And then you'll also need some empty roller bottles. So these are all a standard 10 ml size and so the recipe is going to be for that so if you have smaller ones like a 5 ml then you can just adjust the recipe accordingly the first one I'm gonna share is my perfume recipe and this is a blend of patchouli bergamot sandalwood jasmine and rose I think that those oils smell very nice together and so I'm gonna start off by doing five drops of patchouli And then I'm going to add in four drops of bergamot. Now you're gonna find bergamot is in a lot of these recipes because bergamot is my favorite citrus essential oil. I absolutely love the scent of it and it's also very uplifting. It just has a beautiful scent to it. I could just smell it all day. So I use this one a lot. Next we're gonna do three drops of sandalwood. And sandalwood is another one of my favorite oils scents, which is why I'm putting in the perfume. And sandalwood is very calming and relaxing. I'm doing three drops of the sandalwood. And then I'm doing two drops of jasmine. It's a beautiful floral scent oil. Just a couple drops of jasmine, and then I'm gonna do a couple drops of rose. My rose is actually in a roller bottle, which I just pop the top off, and I usually use a little be, uh, dropper to get it out, but because mine is almost completely empty, there's probably just a couple drops in there. I'm just going to pour in a little bit of rose, just a couple drops. And that's it for the perfume. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to top this one off with a carrier oil to the top. And then before using it, just give it a good shake and this is ready to go. Now this can be applied to the wrist or the neck is another good place to kind of put perfume. And it smells really nice and it's also all natural so that's a big bonus. So that is, I love that smell. I wear this one a lot for a perfume and I always get compliments. So I think all of you guys are gonna love this one. So that's the perfume. The next blend I'm gonna do is just a floral blend because all women love the smell of flowers. So this is a very nice smelling one that could also be used as a perfume. These floral essential oils are very calming and relaxing, so it can be used before bedtime or just on a stressful day. So for this blend, I'm gonna be doing lavender, jasmine, rose, and Roman chamomile. And I'm just gonna do five drops of each to make it easy. And that's going to be a nice, relaxing and calming, and also just beautiful smelling roller bottle. Five. 
These floral oils are also really great for the skin and also really good for immunity. So they are going to be, you can use it just on a skin imperfection or if you're trying to boost the immune system as well. Okay, I'm gonna top this one off with a carrier oil. Now I have labels for all of these on my blog, which there's a link for that in the description below. So then if you make these, you can put a nice pretty label on them. I don't have them printed off right this second, so I'm going to just keep these in order here so I don't forget what's in what bottle. The next roller bottle is a blend of some floral, also I have some copaiba and some citrus oils, and this roller bottle is gonna be really good for stress and anxious feelings, so it's gonna be a nice calming and relaxing roller bottle that we can use to help whenever we are feeling stress. I'm gonna start off with five drops of lavender, and then I'm gonna do five drops of copaiba. Four drops of lime. Back to my bergamot, three drops of bergamot. and two drops of lemon essential oil. Okay, now I'm going to top this one off and this is gonna be my calming and relaxing roller bottle for stress. And this one is best when just applied to the pulse points. You can also put it down the back of the spine or on the bottoms of your feet. And it's also one that is just good whenever you inhale it because inhaling an essential oil helps it to hit that part of the brain that really helps with that stress response. And so you can either roll it onto your finger and kind of put it onto like the bridge of your nose or just smelling it out of the bottle can really help with that stress. The next roller bottle recipe that I'm gonna share for mom is an uplifting blend. And this is a blend of spearmint, juniper berry, rosemary, and lemon. And these essential oils are really uplifting and energizing. They're great for mood and they're also really good for brain stimulation. So for like memory or before you're sitting down to work on something, it's gonna help you to focus. So we're gonna do five drops of spearmint. You can also use peppermint here if you don't have spearmint. I just love the smell of spearmint a little bit better. And then four drops of juniper berry. Three drops of rosemary. And then we have two drops of lemon. It's a very fresh smelling roller bottle. So for this one, I like to apply it behind in the behind my neck right here, also on my wrist. And then again, all oils, roller bottles are great from the bottom of the feet and down the spine. It's another great place to apply them. So I'm gonna just top this off with the carrier oil. And we're gonna move on to the last one, which is my, oops, which is my cheerful blend. For the cheerful blend, I'm doing wild orange, frankincense, bergamot, and lemongrass. I love those oils together. So we're gonna start off with five drops of wild orange. All your citrus oils are very good for the mood and can help with cheerfulness so that's why i put three um citrus oils in this blend and i'm doing four drops of frankincense that one is also really good for the mood and just for calming and relaxing and then we're going to do three drops of that bergamot again hopefully you guys love bergamot as much as i do and then we're going to do two drops of lemongrass Okay, top it off with that carrier oil. And these roller bottles 
done. So this makes a nice little set together for a Mother's Day gift. And like I said, I have some printable labels for you if you want to make these to make them look really nice, put them together. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on essential oil education, natural remedies, and healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house. Thank you.